Hey gang, so um, just wanted to let you know I got a box from the good people at Fafine who sent me something from Amazon, as you can see here. So we're going to do a an unboxing. Got my handy little knife here. I'll tell you what this is. This is an alternative to what I'm doing here. For fine, of course, are the microphone people. I previously did an unboxing and review of uh, one of their more basic microphones, sort of a desktop microphone. This is a combination of a microphone, a shock mount, a pop filter, a boom arm, and USB cable, and all that good stuff all in one package from Amazon and I dare say that it's a lot less expensive than all the stuff that I have here. So I'm going to compare it with uh, the equipment that I have right now which is a Blue Yeti microphone, uh, a newer boom arm. I've got this shock mount which I don't think is available any longer. This is a hundred bucks. You know 99 bucks or something like that plus tax so let's open it up let's take a look here at what comes in the box we have some marketing material a user's guide here is that pop filter i mentioned so the idea is that this would mount somewhere and you would place it in front of the microphone so as to avoid the sounds that your mouth makes that might be annoying to listeners and of course this is on a gooseneck here so it's very easy to reposition and see what else is in the box here not sure what this is but we'll put that aside and we'll figure it out shock mount for the microphone uh, again the idea with a shock mount is that it suspends the microphone so that if there is vibration the vibration is absorbed by the shock mount it looks like we have a wind filter for the microphone itself nice long USB cable uh, looks like it's long anyway and here's the mount itself as you can see this can be positioned a number of different ways here's the microphone itself so it's a little bit smaller than than what I have it seems to have this articulating arm here its own independent volume control and less controls than the Blue Yeti just a volume control here USB type B I think it is let me get a close-up of that there so you can see that uh, that's why that's the same kind of port that you see on printers quite frequently and as a bonus if the if the um, articulating arm is not a good choice for you there is a very simple desk mount or desktop tripod that you can use and of course this attachment here which will allow you to uh, screw the actual articulating arm onto your desk so that you can just set it up and move the mic into position however you see fit. So you've been listening to me speak right now using this microphone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording. I'm going to set up this uh, this equipment here and replace what I've got here put this stuff aside put the new mic up and we'll do a recording of that and you can judge for yourself I'll give you my opinion at the end but you can judge for yourself whether this would be a good alternative here so let's pause the recording right now and then I'll be back in just a moment okay so um, just a quick summary of what just transpired there I set up the microphone stand the uh, pop filter connection and of course the shock mount to the uh, the boom itself and probably did it in under five minutes maybe at most i didn't even look at the owner's manual it was fairly intuitive i like it it's not too obtrusive i would like to see it um, under circumstances where i'm like performing actual steps on a PC um, so it turns out the microphone itself had a separate element which obviously works in conjunction with that tripod that little mini tripod uh, which I would probably not use but in a pinch if I was 
using it uh, outside of um, you know a normal office environment. Uh, I didn't put the windsock on. I think I'd probably reserve that for like a like a, the name suggests um, outside usage. And there are a few accessories available, additional pads for the pop microphone. And there's an alternative connector or piece that holds the pop microphone that comes included here. So obviously spare accessories. But the mic itself is, is pretty straightforward. We'll give it a listen. And uh, I mean, you can clearly judge for yourself because you'll be able to hear uh, my Blue Yeti, which was the first half of the recording and uh, and this recording here and you'll be able to make a, a good judgment. But I'll say this. Um, well, let me come back to it. I will play this recording for myself and compare it to my previous recording and just sort of see what the quality difference is. And then we'll come back and we'll discuss that. Okay, so I've returned to my uh, original setup. And I just wanted to price this out because I want to say that my review needs to be uh, put into a certain amount of context here. So if we go and find the uh, Fafine microphone here, let's take a look here. Uh, here it is here. It's uh, in Canadian dollars, $96.99. And that includes all of the accessories that you saw me have set up. So it includes the, the pop filter, the microphone itself, the shock mount, and the uh, boom arm, as well as um, uh, a little mini tripod. So if I was going to be purchasing a Blue Yeti today, uh, let's find out what that was going to run me here. So just uh, ballparking it here, there seems to be... So I'm looking at $227 Canadian. So it is double the price and all it comes with is the desktop stand, which of course the Fafine microphone does as well. So let's, um, let's take a look at my buying options here. Um, let's assume that I am gonna buy it brand new. Uh, let's pick uh, what I think would be a fair price. I'm gonna go 227 with my free shipping with Amazon Prime. Going to add that to my cart. I'm also going to find a newer mic boom. So I believe this is the model that I purchased uh, before. So let's add that to the cart as well. It's very similar to what uh, comes with the Fafine item. And let's look for a shock mount for a Blue Yeti. Actually, it's, it's this one here. I thought I paid less for it, uh, but that's that's essentially what I've got right there. Um, and let's add that to the cart as well. The only thing missing, of course, is a pop filter. We'll just choose this one here for $15. I don't want to be unreasonable. I think that's probably within range of that. So um, we'll add that to the cart there. Now let's go to our checkout here and take a look at what I'm looking at. So obviously when you're hearing the recording that I made today, you're comparing it against $385. Let's just round it up. Um, $385, uh, including tax and in some cases shipping, uh, to, to replicate what I'm using right here. And obviously what we're comparing it with is a microphone that is $96, $97 Canadian. So uh, in all fairness to the Fafine microphone uh, or Fifine microphone is that, you know, is this microphone, you have to ask yourself, is my Blue Yeti setup worth um, nearly four times the price? Uh, is it four times the quality? No. But let's say you're in a situation where you're new to e-learning, uh, certainly new to freelance e-learning, new to podcasting, things like that. Um, you know, one of the decisions that you're going to make is you got to buy some of this equipment to get started. I've been buying this equipment uh, a little at a time over the last four or five years. So, you know, I had the luxury of time to do that. But if I was shopping for uh, a new setup for recording my YouTube tutorials or uh, doing my live streams, or if you were doing podcasts, 
Um, 96 bucks for a microphone, stand, shock mount, and pop filter all in one box. It's a pretty good deal. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.